Hello everyone and welcome to MDLR Fishing. My name is Mark and today I want to show you how I rig my Bugs Curltail Redfish Jig to a BioBait 2.75 inch grub. Right here we have two Bug Curltail Redfish Jigs. These are the second generation ones that they sell. Uh, this color is black and gold and this one is the blue crab. A lot of y'all ask me which colors do I prefer. It's these two right here. Um, what makes it a second generation versus their first one is the uh, incorporation of a rattle chamber. So as you move the lure around by twitching it, these BBs inside here will clank uh, together to help attract fish. And then also it has a double curl tail versus the single. So that's what makes it a redfish jig or, or a second generation. Um, over here, we've got the BioBait Curl Tail Grubs. Uh, these are 2.75 inches. This is the Whiskey Tango color, which is white. And then I've also got black and then watermelon red. Uh, they've got a whole selection of colors on their website. Uh, these are the three that I like to use whenever I'm out there uh, fishing in the marsh. So what you do is you take the redfish jig. Now, I don't suggest doing this while the jig is dry, so it's a lot easier whenever you take and dip it in the water to weigh down the rabbit fur. So let's see, let y'all kind of see what it looks like right there. Take that. Now it's easier to basically work and manipulate this rabbit fur. Uh, in order to take the jig off, you're going to raise up that rabbit fur, the leather portion of it. There you go. And now you can get it out of the way. You just get all this stuff out of the way, move the rattle chamber, every bit of that, and you're gonna expose just the trailer itself, just like that right there. And you're just gonna corkscrew it off, going counterclockwise, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey type of thing. There you go. And you can see how it's basically unscrewing from the corkscrew. Now you can just pull it off. Uh, a good thing to note before you pull it all the way off is see where the hook is and where it enters right there. It gives you an idea of how you're going to take the grub over here from BioBait and thread it on. So with that removed, now we'll take and grab one of our grubs. These are infused with fish oil and it's the main reason why I'm removing this uh, trailer in order to replace it with this one. It adds an extra layer of fish attractant and so uh, it works really well too. So you take your grub, you're gonna go, let's see if I can get this to where y'all can see it. Put it through, I'm gonna go to like maybe the third little rib, and then I'm gonna come right out, just like that. There we go. Thread it on, and then now I'm gonna go clockwise to thread it through that little corkscrew. Kinda hard because these guys are really slippery, but it should be about three turns, and then it's gonna be fully threaded on. That's number three right there. Very careful, because these bugs, uh, the hooks, <laughs> they're very sharp. Now you can see why it is that I wet the jig before actually attempting to uh, spool this, not spool it, but uh, thread it on. So, there we go right there. And there it is. That's rigged up. It's ready to go. Seated against the rattle chamber. Now all that's left to do is thread the leather back through. Now when you look at the leather from the rabbit fur, there is a slit in it. That's where it's going to go. Through just like that. Seat it back down. And you're ready to go. This guy has so many layers of fish attracting power. 
you got the rabbit fur. So whenever the lure is standing idle or setting idle down there at the bottom of the water, uh, the rabbit fur with any movement of the, the water, uh, it, it just kind of sways back and forth. You've also got a rabbit fur strip right here to the left side and then one on the right side. So that's doing its thing with movement of the water. When you twitch the lure, the rattle chamber, it clanks so the fish can hear that and they come over to investigate. And now with the added power of fish oil infused inside this plant-based material for your grub, you're leaving a scent trail for uh, whatever it is that you're hunting after out there on the water to come track this lure down and bite. You also have a weed guard. Uh, quick tip for my style of fishing out there in the marsh, I actually clip this off. Uh, it serves no purpose for me, so I just remove that altogether. But if you're fishing somewhere where uh, there's gonna be branches or a lot of grass, you might wanna leave this on. Um, but yeah, that right there is deadly out there in the marsh. Y'all have been seeing me use it here recently. Whenever the water starts to get cold or the fish bite becomes hard, tie one of these things on. Be patient, fish it slow, bounce it off the bottom, and man, hold on because the fish cannot resist this style of lure. These bio baits with bugs, they crush it. I hope you found this video useful. Just remember the next time you find yourself out on the water and the bite is tough, slow things down a little bit, try this lure combination out and hold on because it definitely works. It puts fish in the boat and you're not gonna be disappointed. All right, until next time, tight lines, y'all.